Hey folks, this is Vagrid. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. In today's video, we are going to finish off the arena. Allow me to explain. So, I was doing some research, trying to figure out how I do that challenge. Remember the double bellow back turtle one? It just seemed impossible to me because, you know, the turtle alone was going to take a very, very, very long time to kill. And the internet gave me some tips and basically suggested that the Glow Blast Spike Thrower, which you could buy from a vendor just out here, was going to be immensely useful. And you know what? It really was. I recorded the clip. I'll play you the clip now. Are you back? Good. Now, I didn't want to spend the whole video doing that kind of thing because A, people don't like it when I don't talk, which is understandable, I'm lovely and very charming, and B, um, the more I've looked into Arena, especially like the next challenge we're about to do, Tremitux Tussle, you remember, uh, it's, it's, um, I'll show you what it is, actually. I'll show you what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are we? Here we are. Tremitusk Tussle, one Tremitusk, two Acid Claw Striders. This doesn't seem that bad, and it wouldn't be if I could use my own gear, but it's not my own gear, it's it's other stuff. And obviously we want at least 160 shards, because we want to buy the Shop Shop bow, and we want to buy the Hunter bow. The arena's always open to you. So as I was reading the Reddit, trying to find tips for the arena, um, largely the tip was cheat. <laughs> well, not cheat, but basically put the game on easy mode. Um, people have been... Basically, people can do this, and people have talked about how they've done this, and uh, blah, blah, blah. But people are saying it's taking, you know, 20 hours for some challenges, <laughs> 10 hours, 5 hours, even on normal for some of the challenges. And frankly, I don't enjoy it enough to really sit through that. I want the gear, um, I want to see the challenges, but I don't really want to bash my head against the wall for t 10, 20 hours. I don't think the game's combat really is uh, good enough to warrant that. Apparently, it's an un unbalanced mess, is what I'm trying to say. So... What we're going to do, with no shame, okay, we have a little shame, is we're going to put the difficulty on story mode, which is the easiest one, and we're just going to hopefully, you know, if it goes badly now, I'll be very ashamed, but we're going to hopefully get, now just sort of burn through the arena nice and quickly, at least until we get 160 points, and that way we can, um, we can, uh, get the two weapons that I want. you got to remember as well, this costs shards every single time, which is kind of crazy. Something that I can find. Wish you were an apex. Okay, what have we got? We've got well, we've got a spike. 
we're splitting, splitting strike, which is cool. And we've got a thing. So apparently this is actually a really good tactic, generally speaking, which is frost bolts until something freezes and then lob spikes at it. And apparently that wrecks things. So this seems like a good time to try that out. You saw nothing. You have a lot of time. At the very least. I didn't say long. Okay. Yeah. No, I need to get it while it's frozen. That's kind of the whole idea. Come on. Yeah, so this is uneasy, so it doesn't count for too much, but um, it is worth noting. Basically, the spike throws are insane. And I feel bad for neglecting them for the entire game. But, you know, it doesn't... This is not the best way to show it, but I mean, you'll see the other one, the um, the other challenge I did that you saw a minute ago, the one with um, the turtle, that was on normal difficulty. I hadn't reduced, I didn't even see that I killed the other close rider. <laughs> I hadn't reduced the difficulty for the other challenge. That was done on normal difficulty, so. But yeah, I just want to get this out of the way, if I'm totally honest with you folks. It's, it's, I don't find it enjoyable enough. Apex Sky Drifter, Apex Rollback. We're just going to go in, we're going to throw spikes at everything, and that is it. <laughs> that is the entire plan right now. It's a shame I don't have a slightly stronger spike thrower, but hey, I did upgrade it a little bit. As much as I could reasonably bring myself to do so, basically. Is it dead? Wow, it's dead. Love you, story mode. <laughs> I don't know where the other one is, but um, we've got time at least. Can I loot? I don't know if that counts. I'm really interested about that. What are you doing up there? Oh, it's a beauty. Wait, I missed. I have no regrets about this. I wasn't likely to... Bash my head against the wall and, you know, burn through all this anyway, so. No regrets. If I keep saying it, people will believe me. <laughs> That's all I've got right now. If I keep saying it, people will believe me. Because I, I, I don't, I don't believe me. So, you know, someone has to believe me, at the very least. What I'm trying to do now is talk very quickly because there's a, um. Oh, do I have to? Delivery woman. Usually they just kind of leave it at the doorstep. Sometimes they decide against that idea for some reason. And that means I have to go and say hello. And then she fell over. <laughs> I didn't quite fall over. Nearly fell over. I feel like my obsession with the spike throw may end up getting me killed. <laughs> This one's going to be hard, <laughs> just because they're hard to get bloody hold of. There we go. Are you not dead? They're not bloody dead. I'm going to freaking fail this. Obviously not going to fail it, but still, there's a chance. <laughs> it's unacceptable. I don't know if we'll go all the way to the end. Like I said, I need 160, so we need 45 more. 55 more, that's maths. Apex Stormbird. Apex Stormbird, that's kind of crazy for anyone. <laughs> Is this what I mean? Apex, Storm Apex Stormbird in two and a half minutes on normal difficulty. That's, that's tough stuff. We could always come back later on if we wanted. You know, do them again. Hit them up. Here 
Give me a minute. Should be it, right? I've actually land the shot. Society these days, I don't know. Make me aim and such. I have no guilt! <laughs> if I keep saying it. <laughs> I do a little bit. I don't like skipping challenges, but I know I was never going to sit through all this otherwise. I mean, three minutes for two Apex Spike Snouts and an Apex Dreadwing with their crappy pre-made set. That's horrible stuff. There's no enjoyment in that to me. Do I have a Spike Thrower? <laughs> I don't have a Spike Thrower. Life is officially over. Uh, Blastling. Why not? Oh my god, look at that thing. Eh. I didn't, know, I didn't even know they could do that! <laughs> Did I know they could do that? I don't think so. I have no regrets about not using the blast. I, even on easy mode, the blastling feels very dumb, basically. God, people have done this in one second on this difficulty. <laughs> That's mad. Apex Stalkers. I'm very curious what that final one is. I believe it's an Apex uh, Thunderjaw and something else. All right, last one we need to do, and then we can move on. I really have grown to like the spike thrower. Not even using it to full ability quite yet, as you'll see shortly, hopefully. Now, obviously, I'm making it look I mean, but at the end of the day, it tore the turtle apart as well. It really did. Um, I've got the Power Shots special ability at the moment. Oh, what is this? Let me just check. Three Corruptors. Bloody hell. In, in how long? In two minutes. Nah, a son. When you're in the nah. <laughs> Not interested. Thank you very much. <laughs> right. Where's the vendor? Ah, Aloy. Well... So I want this. Uh, yep. And we want this. There we go. Lovely stuff. Earn more metal. The other thing she's got is a bolt blaster, but it's bolt blaster with no elemental affliction, which kind of feels pointless to me. So let's see. First of all, oh wait. First of all, me to uh, put the difficulty back up. I don't intend to play it. I, I intend to keep the difficulty the same for the general game. When I'm like farming things between videos, I might drop it down in difficulty now just because, again, I don't see the point in... If I'm just grinding to farm pieces, why do on? Why make it any harder than it has to be? Essentially. Targeting Hunter? Oh, what the hell are they? <laughs> uh, what am I doing with my life? Oh yeah, workbench. I'm not sure this weapon is an upgrade quite yet. Let's see if we can upgrade it at all. Nope. Okay, what do we need? Dreadwing primary? No, oh, God. Sliverfang primary? Okay. <laughs> Stop making me hunt Sliverfangs. Okay. Well, now the the sharp shot bow will be an upgrade because I didn't upgrade the other one at all. Uh, this was level three, however. Fifty-two hundred seventy-five. Yeah, it's still not. It's actually not as good quite yet. So I'm gonna swap back to this. I'll I'll do some I, I'll do some grinding outside of the videos as per usual. Um, okay, I'm gonna put away my legendary. This this makes me sad, but um, this I just don't use it. You know, it's, I, I'm sure it's fantastic if you're that kind of player, but I am not. So we don't need those. I'll keep that on me because obviously we want to upgrade that. It's got three coil slots, man. 
three. That's so many. That's more than two. And it's got three now. It's going to have five later on. It's crazy. Um, something else I wanted to pick up. I don't know where it is. There is a ability for the spike thrower. But what it does is it splits the spike thrower into multiple pieces. And apparently it's really good. So I kind of want to try to find that. I would have no idea where it is. This one? Double notch. Focus shot. We'll find it eventually. It must be down here somewhere. Is that it? Yeah. Launch a spike that splits into multiple projectiles to impact a large area. So that should be good against big boys that I can hit multiple times. You know, why use one spike throw if I can use three? <laughs> oh, and I was working on this. Ah, oh, I don't have enough. Okay, so I think the idea, generally speaking, we, low, we start off with the arrow, as we always do. Then we freeze. Which means I should probably upgrade this bolt blaster. Then we spike throw. And then we Hunter Arrow in general. I mean, for general enemies, I'm still going to Hunter Arrow. It, the Spike Throw is quite expensive, as far as I know. Um, so we don't really want to use that on average enemies. However, it must be said, Power Shots, the one I've got active now, I'll show you that one. Power Shots, I think it's down here. Yeah, so both of your reserve, deal number of damage, certain number of shots with bows, bloat blasters, blah, 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 blah. So you get five, you activate it and you get five powerful shots and they don't use up ammo, more importantly. So whenever that's active, we can throw, you see, with something like that, if you're going to boost the damage straight up, it makes more sense to use a super powerful weapon, right? Firing five bows at double damage isn't, it's okay, but it's not that impactful. But firing five spikes at double damage is super impactful. Right, okay, so with that done, um, back onto the quests, I suppose. Meow. Back to Chain Scrape. Good old Chain Scrape. Just going to uh, work through them bit by bit, as usual. There is apparently a really good spike thrower, but I can't get it yet. Hard to stay dry on this. That's all I know, but it's later on. Petra! It's been a while since I saw Petra. Really want to upgrade this. Don't really care too much about the plasma, but um, yeah, they're gonna be so good by the end. It's been ages since we saw Petra, actually, absolutely ages. Hope she hasn't forgotten me. I suppose in reality, it's only been about fifty hours or something. Probably not even that. So what's new, Aloy Machine Hunter? How are the refugees doing? They keep to themselves mostly, but they have food and shelter. Some even found work around town. Good thinking, giving them that Stormbird heart. I'm glad it helped. I hope they can get back on their feet. I'll keep checking up on them. Then they'll be just fine. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back, but realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. And thanks to your handiwork, I got my hands full getting this place into shape. I guess you found the right place. Guess I did. Has Talland been giving the refugees any trouble? Nah. His shop got closed down not long after Olven got the boot. So, he cleared out of town. Took his goons with him too. Good riddance, I say. Uh, she's now kind of like in charge of the town, right? That's how we set things up. <laughs> she's been sat at the same spot in the same bar for all of the time since. The concession decree Olven wanted, what was it exactly? And how would it have helped him? Big old pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would have put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would have meant that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olven had a stake in all those claims, it would have made him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chain Scrape would have become an Osra municipality, so he could have bought enough votes to call himself an elder man. <sighs> He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Almost got away with it, too. 
I mean, is it necessarily a bad idea? Other than, I mean, obviously he, him being involved and kind of wheedling his way through, making it all for him is obviously a negative. But the actual claiming of resources... I mean, it's Karja land, but they've obviously got the right to work here. And if they discover things, should they not? Oh, no, it is Karja land. No, 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 no. no I'm going to... I'm going <laughs> to... I just thought of a real world metaphor and I'm going to very quickly take back what I've just said. No, it's a terrible idea. Hey. I'm looking for an Osram named Marsa. She might be working here in Chainscrape. Do you know her? Marsa? <laughs> yeah, of course. Tough gal. Puts her back into her work. Not like the drunken louts around here. Why are you looking for her? I met her brother out west. He asked me to return a family heirloom to her. Huh. I didn't know Marsa had a brother. Anyway, last I heard she was doing a job out by those old Karja signal towers. Northeast of here. Thanks. Hmm. Ostrom family squabbles ain't pretty. Best of luck wading into that muck. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flame Hair. Flame Hair. Uh, fancy a game of strike. Nope. I defeated you long ago. And I'm kind of bored of strike. It's no Orlog, let's be honest. It's fine, the strike. It just... Why do I dislike him? I don't know, it feels... Maybe a little on the simple side. It's not like one of those games where it feels like... You know how the best games are simple, deceivingly simple. And they're like simple on the face of it, but there's a lot of hidden depth. You know, like Checkers, for example. I don't really get that impression with Machine Strike. I don't think there's much to it tactically. <laughs> I'm sure there's some hardcore strike players out there who disagree, but yeah, I don't really get that impression. I have a feeling she won't be thrilled to hear from her brother. But it's to but give her box a box, exactly. Just for a reminder, this is the guy, the Osram lad, and he stole his sister's lockbox, so he had a memory of his mother, but now he wants to give it back. Marsa? Yeah? What's it to- oh, the Normie. How do you know my name? I, uh, met your brother, Porgif, out west. He asked me to give you this. My ma's lockbox. That miserable chuff stole this from me. By the forge, he broke the lock, too! Uh, actually, that was from a rock breaker. Oh. So he's dead, then? No. Uh, after he saw what was inside, he wanted you to have it. Oh. Then I guess guilt finally caught up with him. Let's see here. A jewel. Hm. Surprised he didn't pocket it for himself. And a letter. It's from my ma. Her last wish was that I make amends with Porgov. That doesn't make sense. Porgov caused her all the family. So much grief. Always running off to chase easy shards instead of helping dad at the forge. Why would I want him back in my life? If Porgif read that letter, then maybe he wants to make amends too. He also asked me to tell you that he remembers the flying keg. <laughs> that lug. When we were kids, we used to grab a metal panel and slide down this big hill. But one day, Porgif got the idea to use an old keg. He climbed inside and off he went. Only, he didn't stop at the bottom of the hill. That keg kept rolling with Porgov still inside, right off a ledge. You'd think the keg sprouted wings the way it soared. Then splash, right into the lake. Thought he drowned for sure. But he lugged himself out onto the shore and shouted, again! Sounds like a good memory. <laughs> think that might be the only time I can remember us not fighting. Just lying there by the lake, laughing till it hurt to breathe. When you met my brother, did he look okay? As well as you can expect for someone out in the middle of the desert. You could see for yourself? Nah. I mean, I heard some folks are headed out that way, but I don't know. I'll think about it. Thank you for bringing me this. Here, for your troubles. Thank you. If you decide to go, You'll find your brother at a place called Camp Nowhere. 
Of course he'd end up nowhere. Grand. A bellow back circulator. Just what I always wanted. How did you know? Meh. I want a new face paint. That's cool. Right. Before we... So the main quest, Gemini wants us to go back to base. However, all my side quests are like lower level. So we're going to keep on going. Mm, we'll do all the ones up. So we'll do these three. Anything level 30 or higher will stop. Let's go meet Talana. Now. North of a Fawn Marsh. Uh, if I was going to fast travel, I would fast travel from that. Talana. The Luda. Booba dooba dooba. I spent all that time. Well, not really all that time. Eight minutes. <laughs> getting these weapons that I'm just not using anyway. Oh, uh, the idea of going to grind for these resources. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Doesn't fill me with excitement, if I'm honest. Although I feel better about it now that I know I'm going to stick on easy mode to do it. Why make my life harder than it has to be? Every battle brings surprises. I feel sick. Why do I feel sick? Am I hungry or what's the opposite of hungry? Stuffed. I haven't eaten today, but I feel like I ate a lot yesterday, so. Oh, I'm still sick, that's why. Thorn Marsh. Quite a sight, isn't it? Never thought I'd find myself this deep in Tanakh territory. Have you run into any trouble? I've been keeping my head down. Had to duck into the swamps a couple of times to avoid Tanakh patrols. Well, I'm here now, so spill it. Who is Amatis, really? Like I said before, he helped me put a stop to a hunter-killer machine out in the wilds. At first, he thought I was just another hunter from the lodge who only cared about the biggest machine trophy. And I thought he was just a grouchy hermit living in the woods. But then, he trusted me with the truth. Told me how the Red Raids took everything from him. Seeing that side of him, I don't know, changed things. You... Love him, don't you? I think I might, yeah. Then why did you part ways? When he told me how he failed to save the woman from his past, I told him how I made peace with my father and brother's deaths. He realized he needed to do the same on his own. Wait, when we searched that Red Raid's battlefield together, you said he'd lost someone close to him there. I thought you meant a fellow soldier. She was. Women aren't allowed to serve in the Karja army, but Nessa disguised herself so she could. Amadis kept her secret. When he left to come out west, he promised he'd send word that he was all right, but his letter never came. So you set out to find him. And when we do, I'll have words for him for leading us on this wild goose chase. Well, at least I kind of understand now. Amadis thought Nessa died on the battlefield. But when he learned that the Tanakh took prisoners back west, he kept going. So I guess now we find this prison, the Rot. I did some scouting while I was waiting. I think I might have found the way. Lead on, then. I am dying, so I'm going to stop recording, but we will obviously pick it up in just a moment. And uh, we'll finish the episode, so I shall be back shortly. Well, it'll be tomorrow for me, which is quite exciting. But uh, for you folks, it'll be about two seconds. <laughs> hey, I was about to say the whole intro, but this is half an hour into the video, isn't it? Right, it's, I don't remember at all what we were doing in the first half of the video. We did the arena. And some other stuff. Anyways, um, I went and I did some grinding. Let me make sure my difficulty is correct. Yep, still a normal. And I've went and done a little bit of grinding, done a little bit of farming, got some materials so we can upgrade our weapon and our outfit, hopefully. But uh, I was focused on the Deathseeker's Shadow. This is our Hunter Bow. The Hunter Bow we're going to use now to the end of the game. So, first upgrade, we get a little bit more damage. Not much, but we also get uh, Overdraw Damage Unlocked for a perk, which is Cool Beans. Boop. Should be able to do this at least twice. So, level 1. For level 2... Ah, so close to level 4. We'll have to go get that as well. For level 2, we get some Critical Hit Chance. We get another Weapon Coil, which is Cool Beans. A bit more damage. For level 3, we get knockdown damage. We get 25% shocked enemy damage, which actually doesn't sound horrendous. Um, really? And of course, more weapon damage in general. And then I just need a single fire claw sack webbing. And that'll get us knockdown damage 40 to 40, which is 
Good. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> and then critical hit damage, 15%. But uh, I will once again do that on my own time. Haven't been working on this one quite yet, but that is definitely on the list as well. Da, 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 da. And we can upgrade our outfit a little bit. Nora Thunder Warrior up to level 4, which is really cool. We get plus 1 heavy weapon. We get plus 2 on stamina regen, which is obviously fantastic for how I tend to play. And lots and lots of lovely defenses. Other than Frost, which isn't even that bad. And Plasma, which isn't even that bad. This thing has incredible defensive stats. It's very cool. Go. And then I need an Apex Slaughter Spine Heart. Oh, that's why I was going to do. So I was thinking, okay, we'll try to do that in this video. We'll go kill an Apex Slaughter Spine. <clears throat> I guess. Does that sound like a good idea? It sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> no part of that sounds like a good idea. What can I upgrade? My Shredder Sun. You know what? Why not, I suppose. There we go. There's one thing I've needed to carry more of. It's, sh it's Shredders. Okay, so... Apex Slaughter Spine. There's no way this goes badly. There's no way. Progress time to night time. So I did end up finding Apex Tremor Tusks. Um, they weren't really a big deal or anything, so... This is this is probably the hardest machine in the game, what we're about to fight, though. I, I would wager that whatever difficulty this is, level-wise, or however they want to do it, it's harder than the final boss. I would suggest. Uh, I need to find one. Now, I know there's the one in the icy bit that we fought in the past. However, I'm going to go here instead because the other one is surrounded <laughs> by other machines. And that was half the problem, and I'd really like to try to avoid that. Given how difficult I found it to kill the last Slaughter Spine, <laughs> I'm a little apprehensive, you know? Uh, I didn't set a job, did I? No, that's fine. Um, I've got skill points for days. Keep plugging these in. You never know what you'll need, folks. You never know. That should be machine maxed out as well. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I also hit level 50 while I was just grinding away. Uh, it appears to be maximum level. I don't think I can level up anymore. I think that is the top level in the game, which means my HP doesn't go up anymore. And means we don't get any more skill points from that. But obviously you get skill points from just doing quests and things like that. I imagine... There is the perfect amount of skill points in the game to max out every tree, if I had to guess. I've maxed out three of them already. Got ways to go on Trapper, though. Uh, weapons. This is surely an upgrade by now. Okay, so... Wait, no, where's my other... Where's my regular low? So, 67, 59. Huh. It's actually lower damage. That really surprises me. Although, that's got two coils in. Which, um... It's definitely helping. I mean, by default, it's still lower, but it's lower by one, and the tear damage is substantially higher. And then, okay, that's got overdraw damage 30, this is overdraw damage 15, but it also has knockdown damage, it's got shocked enemy damage, it's got critical hit chance, it's got two more coil slots, and, uh, yeah, so it's clearly, it's time to upgrade. Which is cool. There we go. And let's get some good coils in here, some component tear, plus, don't mind if I do... Critical hit chance, sure. High ground damage, maybe. Reload speed, maybe. Impact damage, definitely. Might just take impact damage again, I think. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. Hmm. Seeing like a shock 15 on it is also quite tempting. Maybe we'll put the final slot in there, but that's critical hit component to uh, impact plus 24, you know, 24% more damage. This is a, it's a good little set of skills right there. Oh, <laughs> um, Forge Fall. Okay, what we need on Forge Fall is... Um, where's my ninja ability? I'll take high ground damage, because I feel like I probably use that quite a lot with Forge Fall. Uh, stealth damage, that's what we need on Forge Fall. I, th I swear I had a, a purple... Did I not have a purple... Hmm. Oh, 10% damage in concentration mode. That sounds good for my Hunter Bar, actually. Because I... Hmm, interesting. I swear I had... 
I feel like I should have better things, better um, coils by now, you know? Uh, I swear I have like an epic, a purple stealth one. Maybe it's on my other bow, but usually it pops up and you can just replace it. What about the armor? Weapon stamina. That should be maxed, I think. Weapon file surge master. Increases level. That's good. Can we do better? That might be better, actually. I'm not sure. I think I'm more interested in doing damage than I am doing defense, so that's fine. Okay. Feeling sexy. So, let's go uh, give this a go, shall we? Not at all apprehensive about this, given how difficult the other bloody one was. I have upgraded since then, but I don't think you... It, to an extent, I don't think you get noticeably stronger in this game. I mean, you definitely do, and ge there's definitely better gear and better tactics and all that kind of jazz. But I, I don't think it's as clear as you would expect. What are they? <laughs> For the life of me, I've got no idea what a targeted hunter arrow is. Can I find out somehow? Hmm. Hold on. It'll be in the notebook somewhere. <laughs> that would have been a very different book and film, wouldn't it? <laughs> Who is it? Ryan Gosling. Who's the other one? I, ne I never actually saw the notebook, so... Trying to make a joke about this probably isn't going to be that effective, but... Very funny. <laughs> there it is. Please be an apex. Won't get much use out of shock ammo. That's just a boring default one. Let me go check the other one. I don't know what it was. I feel like, I you know, I mentioned there was this thing where you had to, um, you had to kill. I said, oh god, there's no thing anywhere near this. What a horrible place. Is there any other slot spines? I, I mentioned this thing where I felt like you had to kill, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to kill it really quick. I'm just going to knock this down too easy, because uh, I've done it before, so I don't care. <laughs> um, I felt like there was a thing, though, where you had to kill... I mentioned there was a thing where you had to kill a certain number of them to like activate it, right? To 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 activate the apexes, and I didn't really think it was a thing because it hasn't been a thing for the entire game for me, and I don't think it's a definite thing. I think it's kind of like a it helps to do so kind of thing. But um, I tell you what, I always get apex tremors just now, and I did spend the time. <laughs> I did spend the time. Just grinding on some normal tremor tusks to kind of help it along, you know? It's worth pointing out that I get very little for doing this, even on... I know I'm uneasy and that's cheeky, but... I don't even get XP anymore. <laughs> Did I get what I needed? I think I needed, like... No, I don't know. I just want to kill an Apex, and I want to do it on normal difficulty. Um, Have I done that? Oh, that's one of them. Oh, wait, it's locked. Oh, that's the one for the uh, main quest. Um, what is my quest? Okay. We'll do that next video because there is inevitably going to be a whole lot of conversation associated. Is there only two slaughter spine spots? I don't want to go to the one up there. I really wish there was a way to kind of like search for a, um, a creature, you know? That would be very helpful. I can't even remember where this one is. It's as round as that. Uh, it's, uh... We can grab the... Um... Plat box. Ah! No, nonsense. I refuse to accept. <laughs> I'm going this way. <laughs> you can't stop me. <laughs> Maybe you can stop me. Okay. It's gotta be. I can't believe it. Ah, oh, I can't get there. If I can, I mean, usually this game is just jam-packed full of campfires. They are absolutely bloody. Every you cannot move an inch without running into a campfire. And yet, for this one that I really need, it's the only one without a campfire nearby. Let's see if we can get this one up here. I'll speed things up a little bit, not by much. Ah.
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bouncy Aloy. Okay. Let's see if we can get over this ridge. <clears throat> Maybe it's not such a bad jump. Games clearly doesn't know how to get there from here because it's uh, not giving me any options at this point in time. It's just, yeah, you'll figure it out. Become the Skyrim horse you're always meant to be, Aloy. Come close, yeah. Come on, Apex. And part of me's like, well. <laughs> You know, maybe I'm okay about the apex. You know, it's, it's a little spooky. I wonder how... So I've got the high ground damage, right? I wonder how high the ground has to be for you to get that damage. But you see the problem with this one? This is mad. This is why I didn't want to fight this one. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take you out now. It's all fine while I'm easy mode anyway, if I'm totally honest. Although, if this is the Apex, obviously I'll swap back to... Um... I mean, I will, generally speaking, play the game in normal, but when I'm grinding through things, I prefer to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Did less damage that time. I've seen me do a lot less damage on high difficulties. It's just uh, confirmed. Oh. Ah! Oh. Do you? Can we, can we... I can't believe this put. <laughs> this is probably the first slaughter spine that most people run into. We thought, you know what, yeah. Let's put it surrounded. Oh. Buy other machines. That's a good idea. It's not like it's just a couple. There's literally four of them. <laughs> oh, Dinora. This is all we're going to do today, by the way. <laughs> we're going to run around killing, killing these things until it spawns the correct one. In time. Not being able to scan is like the most annoying effect in the entire game, honestly. I, just, I mean, I'm not really, like I said, I'm not really getting anything from this. I don't need this. This doesn't do anything for me. I need an apex. So. Oh, well, let's grab this one, right? Now, there isn't really much to climb here. It's a mountain. Not me, climb the mountain. I guess we have to go up here. Where's your track? Hmm. I had to guess. Hmm. No, higher up, right? can survive freezing, so can I. As long as it stops around here, we'll be okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> that... Ah, there's a, <laughs> there's, a, there's a thing here. I didn't, I didn't see this. That, that would have made sense. I still think Greenshine is stupid. Just pulling this out there, I still think Greenshine is stupid. It just isn't used for anything. Like you use it to upgrade armor and stuff, but you use it to upgrade low level armor. It's always like your 
your blues and greens that were upgraded with green shine. It's never this top level stuff. Which makes it hunting for it, and a lot of the places in the game you do hunt for it, it just makes it seem very pointless. I don't know, it's, it's a weird mechanic. You can trade it for resources, but then it's a limited resource. You only get so much green shine in the entire game, which also seems weird to me. All the things cockamamie. This is gonna be okay. I don't know, this feels tight. It's gotta be it, right? It's gotta be it. Going down! Which one's this? Number eight, I believe. So two more to go. I should grab the drone's data now that it's down. Number eight. Right, so, um, hmm. I don't know if there's any more slot spines on the map. If there are, we just haven't seen them quite yet. There might be some down there or something. I think there's another tall strider down there as well, but I can't get that now right now. So what we're gonna do? What we're we gonna do? Don't know why I didn't grab that. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna swap it forward day. I don't really know how it works. Um, as in the respawning and stuff like that. I've, I've spawned inside the campfire. <laughs> um, okay, there we go. <laughs> Slightly odd one. It's just fun. You have 60 hours in, still discovering brand new bugs. Make it nighttime again. And hopefully, Apex. Now that I've killed two more of the bloody things. But this is why I do this hour video. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's not that exciting. We'll grab the campfire next to it either way. Yeah, I feel like the machines respawn fairly quickly, generally speaking. I'm never 100% sure. I get the feeling it's the travelling around more than the time passage that makes them spawn. Maybe it's a combination of both. I don't really know. Slaughter Spine! Where are you, buddy? Oh, buddy, old pal. Sorry about that noise outside. Might not be here. Oh, you definitely heard a spooky noise. <laughs> Didn't sound like a Slaughter Spine. You know what I mean? I, oh, no, there it is. What's this? Ah, oh, so much text. While many speak... Oh, okay, June 30th, 2016, San Francisco. While many speak of the Bay Area's Tecapelago with breathless reverence, in Tandla Starry, Cholago CFO has nothing positive to say about California's traditional tech hub. It's just burning capital on floating architecture. The companies there were as clever as they claimed they would have relocated after the floods. A Starry's disdain must extend to her predecessors at Cholago, who only moved the company's HQ to the Trek... Teki Pelago, I guess that's their version of um, Silicon Valley, three years ago. Now it's the latest in a series of high-profile relocations, Trollago's main offices are bound for Salt Lake City, where Farrow leads others follow, stated Ted Farrow, who moved Farrow Automated Solutions to Utah in 2042, largely to take advantage of massive tax incentives. SLC will continue to displace Northern California as the nation's preeminent tech hub, well into the foreseeable data corrupted. They really do block out some of the weird words. Like, surely future was the word there. Why is, why is that the word that's corrupted? I understand you don't choose if actual corruption was real, which word was corrupted. But since they do choose, they've made some odd choices. Hey, here we go. Right, okay. So we have to swap back the difficulty, of course. Okay, so. Weak against acid, weak against fire. Um, I need to see some things that I want to take out. Probably that, and it's usable. Okay, that's going to be my first target. Uh, we're obviously going to load in with as much damage as we possibly can. I'm going to activate power shots. It's not really what I typically do here, but... Man, look at that damage. It was nothing! That was even less! <laughs> Did that count? Okay, okay, there we go, that was good. You 
strong against frost. Oh, we're nothing right now. That's a good opportunity, actually. I'm gonna use it. Don't run away from me. Bloody hell, that damage. That's resistant to frost again. Okay, that's pointless. I go for some acid. Yeah, because I burn through like a madman. Ah, you son of a bitch. That was pretty easy. <laughs> I really thought that was going to be a bigger deal. Um, yeah, just learning how some combinations work and all that kind of jazz has uh, really, really helped. Apex Slaughter Spine. Dead as La Dodo. I didn't need anything from you, right? Just your heart. Very cool. Take a little photo. Celebrate the occasion. Not a great photo. Oh, can I change the time of day, though? Maybe. That's pretty handy, actually. <laughs> People will watch the phone, they're like, wait a minute. Wait a gosh darn minute. Oh, I wish that bloody purple bit wasn't over there. It's ruining everything. Cool. I'll do Freaky. All right, okay. Well, that's cool. I can safely say I've killed nearly everything in the game now on normal difficulty. It's, it's not very hard difficulty or anything, don't get me wrong, but, you know. I, I did swap the difficulty, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, I mean, clearly, given... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> there we go, the final level. Boop. Nice. I need to do that on one more outfit, I think, for um, for an achievement. I might actually platinum this game. It's not really something I really usually care about, but, you know. I wonder how easy you are to upgrade. Ugh. I need to find, like, a... I'll, I'll go at some point. I'll go back to, like, the start. Find a super, super low level. <laughs> um. Yeah. Also, I had a thought. Yeah, look. This is the... No, that's stash. Stash. Resources. Okay, never mind. I thought I might have some stuff to sell in the stash. Uh, right. Okay. Well... Yeah, I don't know. That's it, I suppose. <laughs> um, best armor in the game. Well, for what I'm trying to do. For how I play, best armor in the game. So that's pretty cool. I really want a bet spike thrower, but that'll be in the future. Um, I think we might... I know this is against what I usually say we're going to do. We might do some main quests. I know there's like a thing <laughs> happening in the main quest at some point. I assume soon-ish. I don't know how soon, but... but... Clearly we're going to learn the ability to fly, right? That's clearly happening at some point in this game. I've seen it all over the promo materials. Um, there's areas that I literally cannot get to. I suspect this whole area here, maybe. It's locked out. There's a cauldron there. Although, I mean, it doesn't look that locked out, but maybe it is. 
And what I kind of want to do now is, if I'm going to do all these side quests and stuff like that, maybe it'll be cooler to do them whilst able to fly. So what we might do is hammer the main quest for a little bit. Plus, it's been a long time since we just hammered the main quest, and it's always fun. Hammer the main quest for a little bit. Um, until we get that ability, and then we'll go back and do some side quests, and then we'll finish off the main quest. Something like that. Either way, Apex Lord Spine. I see you, champion. Sit. Sure. Taken down much, much, much easier than the regular slaughter spine was, it must be said. Um, the explosive, the spike thrower, even though it's only a purple and it's only level 2, it's insanity. It's so strong, you get, like triggering explosions and stuff when it pops um, sacks, etc. <clears throat> oh, we're very close to upgrading our weapon. So my god, do that. And I want to upgrade the shop shop bow as well, but... Uh, all in due time. Thank you for joining me. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.